it's an amazing morning, fantastic blue sky, incredible. The air smells of just, if you know, you know, the smell of haymaking. fairly ominous clouds around and we have had a few spots of drizzle, a few spots of rain, so hoping that that's going to hold off. position now to see that field over there has been mowed this field here mowed and tethered as well so it's three fields up here Nick is where is he there mowing so we've got that one to do and then that one ideally before we have any sort of break It's a lovely afternoon. I think it's nearly six o'clock now and I'm just taking a little break. We've got drinks in here. We've got a few snacks in here. Um, we had our lunch up here, a beef sandwich. Well, it was breakfast and lunch rolled into one at three o'clock. Um, was a beef sandwich, which was very appreciated. Um, so yeah, the mower has been going pretty much continuously since 8.30 this morning. So, um i don't know whether we just go really slow or what but i think we were going i was riding riding about eight kilometers per hour um nick might have been going a little bit faster i'm not sure but but anyway that's how long it's taken us and we've done um you know one two three sort of biggish feel, feels up here <clears throat> um so we just need to wait for nick to ted this one out and then make a decision about whether we're going to mow for the rest of the day today um i'm thinking possibly it's my turn this evening to pull some ragwort and just having a look at the different varieties of flowers that we've got down here 
as this is where we are mowing now. So it's half seven and I guess we're just going to mow until we've lost the light. Just get as much done as we can. Nick's starting doing the sort of perimeter. He's going to mow for a bit while I do this. And then I guess we'll swap over. He can have a drink and a bit of a break. And um, that's how we'll do things. <laughs> It's five past nine and it is going dark. Uh, Nick is just finishing off this last bit. I think we're gonna finish it soon for today. We're both pretty tired, um, a bit achy. Um, the tractor driving can feel quite physical in a way, a uh, sort of repetitive strain. Um, just wanna have a sit down and have some silence because it's just so noisy and yeah, just need to zone out for a bit. And then tomorrow, who knows? So this is one of the meadows, we call it the long field. This we call the bell holes, field under the moor, cart track field and the lees field. So that is what we have been mowing. It's an amazing morning, fantastic blue sky, incredible. The air smells of just, if you know, you know, the smell of haymaking. Um, and there's a little breeze. We've got the last stretch of mowing today and then hopefully lots of enjoyable Ted in the hay out in the sunshine should be good. It was a mega long day yesterday. Um, I think on the tractor, the mower was running for 12 or 13 hours. We were, were gone from half, before half eight until half nine in the evening. So my dad used to love those kind of um, stats. Got to check on the livestock and we can see this fantastic bit of wall that Andy has been building. It looks incredible. This is why one of the cows knocked it down. But yep, just checking on the cows, checking on everything before we start another busy day making the hay. So feeling excited, uh, feeling happy the sun is out and yeah, just hope we can get cracking and um, start to almost get to the point where we can bale some of it tomorrow. You can see where we've been mowing over there. So here we are, the last area to mow. And Nick's just getting started, ready to swap over. I'm going to mow now and he is going to Ted what we did last night.
blades have stopped spinning. Oh. The blades have stopped spinning. Oh, just about. And the final bit of mowing down here is done. So we've done all that, all this. And Nick is turning it. Dad would be very proud of his Bolaris tractor. So well done, Bolaris. Well done, Metware. It's a, it's a big ask of a machine, I think, working at that intensity. Or I think it is anyway. So well done. We don't have the best of most expensive stuff here. We make do and very grateful that it works oh, and behaves for us. That's the end of part two. Part three coming soon.